You see, we can only bind and loose with heaven's blessing upon the authority of Christ's words. Mr. Spurgeon put it this way, each church has the keys of his own door. When those keys are rightly turned by the assembly below, the act is ratified above. I think he's right. And so church authority exists by way of heaven's authority, mediated through Christ's instruction through the apostles. Now, I read 1 Corinthians 5 earlier. That was a discipline situation. That was a binding, a kind of binding that was placed, a restriction. This person putting, being put out of the fellowship, the community of the saints there in Corinth. Now, I want to flip over to 2 Corinthians chapter 2. 2 Corinthians chapter 2. What about lifting that? What about loosing that restriction. We have this example, I think, here in 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 6. This punishment, which was inflicted by the majority. Isn't that interesting, the language there? The majority of what? What do y'all think? I think it's the church. The church is sufficient for such a man. In other words, in other words he suffered enough. It was punishment. But it was punishment intended for the recovery, right? Not for the, not for the destruction of the man, the eternal destruction, or for all, we'll never let him back in the church. No. So that on the contrary, you ought rather to forgive and comfort him. But preacher, do you know what he or she did? Lest perhaps such an one be swallowed up with too much sorrow. Therefore, I urge you to reaffirm your love to him. Oh, I can't love anybody who did anything like that. Do you hear what's going on there? For to this end, I also wrote that I might put you to the test whether you are obedient in all things, not only in carrying out the first instructions, which was put that wicked man out, but loose that restriction, lift it. Now whom you forgive anything, I also forgive. For if indeed I have forgiven anything, I have forgiven that one for your sakes in the presence of Christ, listen to this, lest Satan should take an advantage of us. For we're not ignorant of his devices. This is a big deal. So brethren, we're under Christ's authority, not our own. And we need to function both in the binding and the loosing under Christ as he has ordained with that spirit of love which works itself out in the expression of forgiveness and ultimately reconciliation. But hear this, that the decisions that we make together on earth in matters of discipline have heaven's approval and heaven is brought together with earth in this. You see that in verse 18. Assuredly, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you lo loose on earth will be loose in heaven. We are the visible expression of the invisible kingdom and the invisible God. He's seen in the church as we're functioning in the name of Christ under his authority.